the energy vibration amazing for the Sun moon and rising sign I want to see thank you for being here oh you Saji I love you Saji so much um okay you Sagittarians okay it is a weird quadrille for you guys I'm telling you the truth you have the magician which is an air sign this is a fire quarter so it could be that positive things is coming in for you guys I want to say thank you for supporting my channel and being back and you know thank you so much you Sagittarians but then you have to work everything out with an earth sign and organization a lot of people it's gonna be in this quarter a lot of people that you have to work out things with and I don't know how you guys are going to do that because it's a quarter where you're working out and doing so much things with a lot of people it's unbelievable unexplainable but I guess some of you are really clear in karmas okay so um, whatever is happening in this quarter it's gonna be um, it's a karmatic situation um, um, I think a lot of luck is coming in for you Sagittarius in the month of May and the month of May a lot of luck will be coming in for you Sagittarius June it's a situation where you have the energy of the hangman and not really um, you know not really moving forward not really moving backwards you're hanging in limbo uh, you know it could be that you're on vacation too so you know whatever it is so, so let's look at what is going on for your quarter in April you have the energy of the magician this it could be good because you have the energy magician with the energy of the chariot it means that you're moving forward and you know you have everything that you need to move forward and you're just moving on a high speed and this is going to be good in a positive direction so this is going to be good in the month of April wonderful energy that is <laughs> May um, May is going to be your lucky month um, you Sagittarius May is going to be your lucky month this is going to be a very wonderful luck a lot of luck a lot of destiny a lot of situation that is happening um, a magician is going to bring you a lot of luck see so um, your luck is going to start happening from in April but then we went when we go to June we have this energy of huh so it's like a hype and then a low in June so let's see um, what is going to happen here okay so let's see what is going to be connecting with um, April and May you have the energy of the eye princess you have the energy of the eye princess so um, you have to listen to your intuition April and May end of April beginning May you have to listen to your intuition because a lot of stuff is going to be happening because it's as if you have um, everything you need to move forward but something is going to happen so you have to um, like listen to your intuition in a situation okay then you have the energy the end of um, May going into June um, this is beautiful you have the ace of one a new beginning isn't this wonderful yes because the wheel of fortune is good from um, May is going to bring you a wonderful new beginning so this is just going to be so positive so good um, this is going to be such a positive energy which um, a lot of you are going to be so happy so there's a new beginning so maybe that's why you have the energy of you finding um, your balance for this new beginning so let's see what is going to be the outcome of your quarter what is going to be the outcome of your quarter you have the energy of the page of cups so this is going to be good um, this is going to be good this is going to be wonderful so it's not that bad the eye princess is bringing a new beginning for you a new start for you and this is going to be good and then you have the four of cups um this is good this this energy of the four of cups is going to be a wonderful energy because um what is happening is that um this energy of the four of cups is good because you're sitting down and planning so the the outcomes of this period for you is going to be a a, a planning because you have the energy of the the hierophant is with you and the energy of the hierophant 
is um, a wise group of people or organization um, that is trying to um, protect you in a sort of a way is is a sort of a period of protection that you're receiving because you have the energy of the unicorns and it's nice if you work with the unicorns or the whole to call upon the uniform coins and the whole and the fairies to surround you and protect you you know because in this period because um, it's a period of planning so this all outcomes of the period is a period of planning there is going to be a lot of people working together and finding um, um, people to work together with and this 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 is just going to be wonderful so this is going to be absolutely absolutely grand okay so let's um, look and see what is happening there is going to be a new beginning and we're going to look um, the wheel of fortune um, is asking you to listen to your intuition and bring in a new beginning um, the energy of the magician comes in with the eye princess whenever the energy of the magician comes in with the eye princess is that secrets whatever that was hidden is going to be revealed because the energy of the moon this full moon with this half moon is going to reveal a lot of secrets that have been kept and um, this is going to be extremely good and then you're going to plan from that whatever the secrets that was um, there and whatever secrets that was um, been kept um, now with the full moon it's going to bring out all that secrets then we're seeing that you're planning and you're having a new start but it's as if you know you're in limbo and planning and having this new start um, but it is as if you need to understand what is my next move and it's as if some of you cannot figure out exactly what is your, your next move so you're just taking it day by day okay so let's see what is happening with um, April going in May accomplishment nine of Pentacles isn't this good wonderful um, very very wonderful because um, April going into May the magician is going to bring some accomplishments to you nine of Pentacles um, it's going to bring you financial balance and a wheel of fortune um, is going to connect with that and bring you a lot of connection of a financial balance and now I see why in June you're taking it easy maybe you're going um, you're on vacation and you're thinking about your next move because um, there's a lot of things that is happening around you let's see May to June what is happening you're going to you're having a victorious you're having a victorious success the ace of swords so this is good so um, you have accomplished the nine of Pentacles and the ace of sword this is wonderful this is good this is going to be um, extremely extremely positive so that's why you're um, kind of resting um, and resting out this period and uh, seeing what exactly um, need to be done before you move forward so a magician is here with the eye princess and the wheel of fortune so this is a lucky lucky stream so what are they really saying they're saying that um, the queen of sword who was trying to block you is now in the reverse form so there was someone who was a tall um, and um, an Aquarius a Gemini or as Libra that was blocking you and now she's in the reverse form so um, you know happy 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 joy 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 whoever that person was they're out of your life then as we move on we have the energy of the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is bringing a new start and this new start is going to give, bring you a victory and success let's see what is happening you're seeing things clearly balance is coming in and you're seeing things clearly and this is wonderful because whatever is and was transpiring um, the queen of sword whoever this queen of sword is was not really a nice energies to have around you and um, now because the screen of swords could be a, a friend or uh, someone who you have known and that sort of a thing and um, this balance you're seeing things clearly now because a new start is coming in for you you're victoriously and successful and a new start is coming in for you so 
um, this is going to be wonderful this is going to be good whatever that has transpired whatever situation that is happening now the eye princess is I wants you to sit and think about things before you begin on this new start so the eye princess always it's as if she's bringing secrets or she's bringing information that you need towards you so sometimes it's secret and it's about the princess of sword it's about the princess of sword so the princess of swords is another um, Aquarius um, Gemini or Libra so apparently the Queen of Sword and princess of sword were blocking some of you because now um, they're both in the reverse form and now you're seeing things clearly and you are victorious over this and you're going to be very very successful okay so success is coming in for you so you have a situation with an organization and you are going to be very success, successful with this situation so whatever that was playing out that was that was transpiring you're going to be very very successful with the situation because success is coming out um, there seems to be a situation that was playing where this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Swords was um, very disruptive it's a very disruptive person these uh, it was not uh, not someone who's who's um, you know pretend to be a very nice but um, on the inside it's not really a nice person whoever this person was um, this person was really um, making some disruption disruptive um, situation in your life and now now you're seeing the truth of a situation because um, secrets coming out about the princess of swords and the queen of swords there's a lot of secrets a lot of information um, it's as if whatever that was happening now you had the time to think about it and you're you're seeing all the puzzles all the things fitting together so the secrets that was happening between these two it is now um, it is now open and 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 you are looking at them but the the, the wonderful thing about it is that you are uh, victoriously come out of this situation and you see what was going on with this person and this person can be the in you know um it it can be someone who is between 18 and 40 uh, or if you are you know 45 50 it could be someone who is younger than you are because you are seeing that this person was up to no good and this was good because um, whatever it was they could not and they're not going to affect you anymore because they have no more power it could be for some of you it's your daughter uh, or your son or your partner but um, whatever the situation is um, you're you're having a victorious win because you have the energy of the nine of Pentacles and the ace of swords and you're having a very victorious win whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring um, obviously there was a situation and this was a karmatic situation because here the wheel of fortune is is showing you that it was a karmatic situation because now you're seeing the situation so clearly what was happening um, these people could be friends they could be girlfriends they could be friends or people who you have in close proximity but they are not family it's as if they were people who were trying to block you in your life and um, these people are not really nice they pretend to be nice but um, deep down is as if there was a sort of a jealousy that was going on and this is what the secret is now coming out and you're knowing who are your friends and this is good I love when this happened because basically you know exactly who are your friends and who to trust and who not to trust let's see if any more messages coming out I love the nine of Pentacles for you guys um, um, there's a new beginning new start new beginning you have the ace of swords um, a new idea a victorious overcome new beginning new um, information you use um, the sword um, to cut through 
all that was happening and then you're seeing the truth of a situation and now a new beginning is coming so this is going to be good let's see what other messages came up you have now balance your emotional and your materialistic needs you've balance both of them and this is good this is positive and um, you are finding your true inner light now and this is so wonderful very 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 wonderful that a lot of you are finding your true inner light that is coming up and it was a lesson it was a karmatic lesson whatever this lesson was whatever happened between you and this Aquarian Gemini or Libra it was a karmatic lesson and learn from this lesson because you still from this lesson you have these two in the reverse and these are very two good cards to be in the reverse your emotional and material self is now balanced and you find your true inner light and that was because of the lesson that they taught you and it is okay because you are going to be successfully coming out of whatever situation they made for you so that's wonderful now you have fertility fertility is wonderful because what is happening is that the frequency of fertility invites us to become more open um, more courageous more creative and more joyful than we were before it's um, activate the um, potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and garden expression of ourselves so this is a wonderful this is a wonderful energy to receive and you Sagittarius have received this energy for this um, second quarter so congratulations to you Sagittarius for this wonderful wonderful assessment of yourself and this is good we're moving forward and we have the energy of Queen Yin and I love her because she is the master and a goddess she is Queen Yin is the master of the 12 ray of unconditional love okay she radiates um, a vibrant um, pink light of pink female energy love and compassion Queen Yin, uh, Yin is um, re-empowering um, women everywhere and bringing forward feminine wisdom in men she is inviting you to develop your feminine qualities includedness your uh, healing's ability finding ways to nurture and empower others and yourself give yourself permissions to go with the flow and share with everyone for the highest good this will substill affect your stellagate chakra and build the anaraki bridge to source i act for my divine feminine so whether you're a man or a woman it is all about you act from your divine feminine wisdom in this month and it's going to be perfectly perfectly okay let's move on and look at the love energies because as usual I change up the readings let's move on and see for the ladies the Sagittarians ladies over 40 for the second quarter of 2018 what are the love energies for you guys Sagittarians lady over 40 there is a new beginning there is an offer that is coming in um, so if you ladies have been looking for a new relationship um, someone is coming in to offer you love um, so for the people the singles who were looking for a new relationship there's an offer of love and this could be coming from someone who is um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, this is wonderful because um, it's a good connection it's good good partnership and a good business um, endeavor um, that is good and you have um, the eight of one so a lot of text messages um, for some people text messages <laughs>